okay, because they're effectively, when the arm's in, the, the finishing mechanism is very similar to the triangle. All right, our traditional, like, just the head guillotines, okay, it's so different. And people will, like, really blur the lines with these, and, and the distinction is not really clear um, when we learn them. All right, but it's ever so different. And I feel like this arm and guillotine, not only is it the easiest one to finish and the most powerful, but it really makes the difference um, clear. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, I'm gonna be, I've, I've, I've gone behind here like this. All right, so this at this stage, we'll, 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 if my knee's in, it's okay. If he's tight, it's okay. All right, but quite often, I can open people up in this position because the, the, the threat of the back take in this position is real. Okay, so if he's in super tight, I'm gonna start going in and start trying to open his head up. And what I'm looking for is space. I want space to be able to connect my hands from the outside to the inside, okay? But there's one thing that I must get before I do this, and this is my wedge, and this is the key to this choke, all right? I must use a block, okay, this tricep here in the knee. So if my knee's in like this, okay, which it should be, all right, in this stage, if it's not, feel free, you're, you're okay here, you can really start like putting your knee in and that's fine, okay? Now I have, I can see space. When I can see space, that's good. So I wanna do two things simultaneously. We're looking at a knee swap, all right? So I want this knee to come in here, all right? And then it's my, uh, my hand connection. So let me just talk through the hand connection first. So if I was to control, and if it was the hand that I would use to be punching in here, my outside hand, that's the hand that I want to go in by the ear, okay? My hands are going to connect under the armpit, so under the armpit, over the ear, all right? The hand that punches in, there, okay? Now, simultaneously, as I'm doing that, I'm taking this knee out and I'm putting this knee in, okay? So it looks like this here, there, all right? And what this guillotine does, because my knee has a wedge here, all right, it enables me to fall and my hands just circle around and slide around into place. And it just works really, really well, all right? That's why I don't teach too much in the finish because it's quite, like it would be quite natural for, 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 for most of you here, it'd be natural just to finish this, just when you fall into it, okay? So look. My knee is in. If it's not in, it's okay, but I'd probably look at opening them up with something else here, okay? To be honest, in nogi, it's very, very tough, all right, to, to stay tight in the turtle here, in all forms, all right? All, I take, all it takes is a big toe getting in here, all right, and one hook's enough for me to start getting the back up. That's another, that's another technique, all right? Let's just assume at this stage I've gone behind and in this position I have my knee block in, all right? So the outside hand comes over, my knee block gets replaced, and now watch, I'm gonna sit on my outside hip. Guys, make sure your hands are connected. Look, everyone see the, hand, the way my hands are connected? Traditional guillotine way. Now I just, when I sit, I just allow them to go loose, and this, just allows them, when my heel goes around, for it to just really tighten up around. And you're driving off your feet once, I mean, if you need to? What's that, sir? Did you say you're planting off your feet, you said your heel is the ground, are you driving, or is it just your No, 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 I'm, I'm just blocking his roll. I just don't want him to roll to his back, okay? Mm -hmm. People don't expect a guillotine here, by the way. They expect a back take. Guillotines, people expect from when people are in front of them. They don't expect them from when people are behind them. All right, so this is a really, really good attack. Did anyone somebody have a question? question? Yeah, so is it more of like pulling back or use your shoulder? Great, great, great question. The, great yeah. question, great question. So my idea with this, um, this show to see how everybody got on with this. If everyone's, you know, uh, with the finish, and then I'm gonna talk through, after this technique, for us to finish, we're gonna talk through some finishing mechanics Okay, the difference between the arm in and the difference between the, uh, the just the head in guillotine, because there are quite a few. <clears throat> Long story short, I want to I want to close off the space. I want to completely like I would have tried. So it's a very similar 
to a triangle. I remember I want, if there's space in a triangle, it doesn't work as well. It's the same as the arm mobility. All right? And if we end up leaning back like we would with a regular guillotine, it doesn't work. So you see my posture as I finish here, I'm sat up. I'm just crunching forward into it. And that's very important. All right? If we end up leaning back, you're trying to squeeze, okay? We're not going to have any success with any arm guillotine. All right? So yeah, great question, by the way, because it's reminded me to mention it. So thank you. All right, so would you like to see this? Uh, sure, absolutely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, no, that's good. Here? Are you right here, this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. So here, it's the outside hand. The outside hand, the one that I would be striking with, is going to come in here. Okay? This knee gets the knee swap. So I go here, knee swap. There, once my knee goes in, my hands relax. Look at my posture. Guys, I'm sat right up here. Alright? My hands are loose. They circle around that neck. And the reason why it gets tight is because of my knee. Uh, everyone, everyone can see that I've blocked off. I put a wedge in, and that enables his arms not to go in. If this wedge isn't here, by the way, now. So yeah, yeah. That's so say, cool. say this wedge isn't here. All right. I can't. I don't have that. I can take his arm out. And this is a different arm ability. Still finish it. All right. But when this knee wedge is here, when I have this. All right. Watch my hands. Get loose, loose, loose. Oh, now there's no space. Nice. that knee pushing his arm into the wall? It's not pushing. The knee is the wedge. Just blocking. Just, Just blocking. blocking. Okay. It right. feels weird to me because everything down here feels free to move, and then everything just cinches up up here on top. Like it, I felt it felt very loose until it wasn't. Yeah. That's it. That's what we want. That's what we want. It's a real surprise. Yeah. It's coming from outside the arms. And what's the other benefit? When people are here, they, they, have not, they have very little clue as to what you're doing. It's all feel. So if you don't feel anything, before that knee goes in and those hands connect, it's often too late. All right, guys. Let's give it a try. Three, two, one.